Hi, I'm Sean Matritis, and this is your BNB Coronavirus Report for Thursday, May 21st. And today is the 49th day of school we've missed since we began following the governor's stay-at-home order. Yesterday, Governor Cuomo announced religious ceremonies can resume across the state starting Thursday, though in a scaled-down form, with gatherings of 10 people or fewer people allowed. We're working with uh, religious institutions. Right now, they can have up to 10 people with strict social distancing guidelines uh, at religious gatherings. We've asked them to consider drive-in and parking lot services for uh, religious ceremonies. Now let's check out what's going on in your neighborhoods with our BMB reporters around the district. Hi, I'm Captain Ariana reporting from BMB. Now the coronavirus has been affecting many summer plans including cancellations from summer camps to cancellations to vacations. My summer plans have been canceled for, due to the coronavirus. We were supposed to go to Aruba and hang out there, but unfortunately we won't be doing that this year. And it looks like other states and other countries are starting to reopen. In my opinion, I think that we should not be reopening New York State and we should take a time to make the cases decrease before reopening the state. And me and my family have been doing great during the, this virus and the shutdown. We have been helping many Ecuadorians with um, giving them food kits and other necessities. We also have been visiting family. Thank you. From BMB. I'm Catherine Oriana. Stay safe. Hi, I'm Ruby Mattis reporting for BMB. So I know some places may be starting to um, consider reopening or might have even started reopening. Personally, I don't find this to be very wise because I know we've come a long way and we're doing a pretty good job of socially distancing and staying quarantined, but we're not ready to just have things start to reopen all of a sudden because we don't have a vaccine yet and I don't think the curve is even really going down enough. I hope you like that visual, very, very advanced visualizing. Um, so yeah, I feel like a lot of people would just start getting sick again and then we'd have to, you know, go back to square one with everything and then just have to rebuild all of this progress, which is certainly not fun. I wouldn't want to have to do that. I don't think anyone else really wants to have to do that. So we kind of just have to keep pushing forward doing what we're doing right now. But on the right side, the weather's starting to get really nice. So maybe you can go for a nice socially distanced walk if you have a dog or a cat or any other kind of animal that likes being walked. Maybe take them for a walk or ride a bike. I don't know how to do that yet. I plan on hopefully getting a bike soon so I can learn. I mean, no better time than now. It's not like I get to like go into school five days a week, so might not learn. <laughs> we just have to look on the bright side at this point. I feel like if we keep maintaining like an optimistic like point of view, then this will make this whole experience much easier and hopefully a little more pleasant. So from Legion Street for BMB, I'm Ruby Mattis. Stay safe everyone. Hi, I'm Sean Cole from BMB and I'm reporting from Jeffrey Drive in North Belmore. We have now reached week nine of the coronavirus shutdown, which is starting to feel like week 99 of the coronavirus shutdown. But the ease of the shutdown is only a couple weeks away, as summer is right around the corner. All the fun activities that we do in the summer are not too far away, or are they? Some popular places like beaches, pools, and vacation destinations are starting to open again, but with restrictions, of course. For example, Summer destinations like Disney and Myrtle Beach are reopening, but with strict rules. For instance, Disney World is reopening, but guests must wear face coverings at all times, and every guest must undergo temperature screenings. That explains why my trip to Disney was canceled, so I'll have to find better things to do this summer. One thing I can do is watch sports again. Since I can't go anywhere, I'm going to have to stay home, so why not spend my whole summer watching sports? I could spend my whole break off from school on Long Island watching my fantasy baseball team lose every week. Who couldn't ask for a better summer, right? Hopefully, more vacation destinations, beaches, and many 
more places can reopen again. It's almost that time of year where people go outside and enjoy themselves every day. So, let's hope going outside every day doesn't turn into 13 weeks being stuck inside. For b and I'm Sean McCollum. Thanks guys. Now with a quick announcement, here's b and very own Mr. Sign. Hey everybody, Mr. Stein here from BMB, the executive producer of BMB. Uh, it's actually just a fancy way of saying I'm one of the teachers in BMB. And here I am in uh, the home office, where on Friday night, this is where we are going to be watching the first ever BMB awards right up here on, uh, on the big screen. I realize some of you at home might have a bigger screen. Uh, we could get a, a bigger screen, we just can't fit it, there's not enough room. So we're going to be uh, watching on the big screen, sitting here on the couch. Uh, we're going to have, uh, have the laptop here with the Zoom party, uh, the chips, the guacamole. Uh, it's going to be the whole set Friday night. How are you guys going to watch the BNB Awards Friday night? Let us know and uh, we'll see you Friday for the BNB Awards. Thanks, Mr. Stein. So that will do for another episode of the BNB Daily Report. Be sure to tune into BNB tomorrow for the inaugural BNB Award Show, where the best work of the BNB students will be honored. Be, to be sure to subscribe to the BNB YouTube page to get the latest on all that is going on around the district during this difficult time. To the members of our community and of our family who are struggling today, no, you are not alone. From, from BNB, I'm Sean Matritis. I hope you all have a great weekend and stay healthy, Mepham.